disconnect the expansion unit from the kiosk. This is the serial cable in the back of the kiosk. Unlock the T-lock on the expansion unit. Open the expansion unit's front door. Take a picture for reference. Remove the four Phillips head screws, two on the side, two on the bottom. Take note of where the ground cable is connected. Remove the bill validator from the cavity. Careful, the cables are still attached. Be sure not to pull on the wires. You might need a small flathead to disconnect the larger connector. Remove the bill validator. Install the two connectors into the new bill validator. Make sure that dip switches one through three are set to on. Carefully lower the validator into the cavity in the front door. Careful not to pinch or cut any of the wires. Start all four screws and don't forget the grounding cable. Tighten all four screws. Double check that all cables are connected. Reconnect the serial cable behind the kiosk. Switch on the power strip located inside of the expansion unit. Shut the expansion unit's front door. Check that the bill acceptor has power. This is shown by the lights in front of the acceptor. Test the bill acceptor. Lock the T-lock on the expansion unit. 